Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, The Moonlit Grimoire. My name is River and I'm a solitary Wiccan. And this is a channel where you can learn about anything witchcraft. If you read the title of this video, then that's right. Today we're unboxing Goddess Provisions. This is Goddess Provisions Prosperity Box. This was for May, I believe. Well, let's open. <laughs> Together we shine. I love that. Ooh. I love abundance, prosperity, good fortune, because my main matron is Goddess Fortuna. And my main patron is, is Thoth. Let's read that, I guess. I don't want any spoilers, though. So I think I'll look at it afterwards. I think it's a spell. And then it gives you like, tips on how to do it, I believe. I haven't opened many God's provisions. This is actually my second box. Money Magic Ritual Kit. Ooh. I attract and maintain abundance. I guess it lists what all is in here. Cleanse a bowl and set it on your altar. Sprinkle a pinch of each of the included herbs in the bowl. Add the pyrite. You can also add coins, paper currency, and other stones. That's so cute. I love it. Got a candle ritual. And then a money jar. You can make a money jar. I love that. That's cute. I love that picture. Okay, we got a candle maybe? Let's let's open the box. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, oh that's so cute. Oh those are actually glued on there. They're shiny. Oh well, it's got some heft to it. There might be something in there. I thought that was empty. Oh no, it, it is. It's empty. Aww, it's purple felt on the inside. It's soft. I love it. That is cute. I to figure out what I'm going to put in that. Maybe my pyrite? I'm not sure. Put that right there. And then, I'm guessing these are candles. This would be the candle for the candle spell. Abundant spell candle. Yep. It says it's a paraffin wax, and there's four of them. Oh, and it comes with the ceramic holder. I want to see what's on the holder. The last holder that I got from God's Provisions had um, moon faces on it. It was so cute. Oh, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Little money bag. <laughs> A flying dollar. <laughs> I hope you can see that. It's so cute. Little dollar sign. A little dusty. I'll clean it. Cute. I hope the candle fits in that really well. Sometimes I have a problem with chime candles not fitting their holders. Let's see what kind of candles. Ooh, different colors. Oh, wow. That's some deep color. I like it when it's actually the color all the way through. Like it's not a white candle with like a color coating over it. This one is, but I think that's for most gold and silver candles. It's you, you know, you can't really make wax that's as pearly as that. But that's super cute. Perfect abundance colors. I 
think I'll open the dish first. I'm assuming it's the bowl that you put all the ingredients in. I thought it was plain. It actually has a oh, little detail. A little crystal ball, a star, a mushroom. I love that. I love the eye art. <laughs> oh, I love that a lot. That is so cute. And it's the perfect size to where I could also use it as an offering bowl. Fortuna would love that. I have a wooden one for her. And I think she'd love that. That's great. I love that. Lunar Abundance Crystal Grid Set. Oh, it's for a grid? I've got a crystal grid on my Venus altar right now. It's uh, activated for just love in the home. Oh, oh, it's a little tiny tower. It's clear quartz tower. Oop. Oh, that is cute. I have a little tiny citrine tower. Oh, wow. Pull it sideways so you can see it. I actually see a little rainbow in there. Love it. It's so clear too. It's not it's not smoky or or snowy. I love that. Oh, I can so see a rainbow. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not. That is cute. That clear quartz little tiny tower. That's probably the uh centerpiece for the grid. I think I'm actually gonna do this. Oh, I love how it's black and gold. Black and gold is such a good combo. And fold it. And it's so like dainty. I love it. Mm, that is cute. Probably go like that. I'll lay it out. I don't want to iron it because I don't want to burn it, but I'll lay it out and I'll try to get those wrinkles out of it. Maybe I'll put like a heavy book on top of it, try and flatten it. But yeah, I love that. A little tiny, oh, <laughs> little tiny tower in the middle. She's not going to stand up. That's okay. Oh, there she goes. This will probably be, yeah, information on the grid. Maybe how to grid, what each crystal's for, what um what the grid's activated for. Not many like I've heard often that some witches don't know to activate their grids. I um I learned about grid activation when I learned about grittings, but I hear uh some witches out there actually learn to activate after they learn to grid. And I feel like activating it you get you know more the benefit from it because it's actually working passively because it's activated they kind of tied this one i do want to open it because i want to show it's a green adventuring it looks like this adventuring has a little bit of like a white a little bit of a white color around the green and I have a larger tumble that actually looks a lot like probably this one, where it kind of has that like snowy look around the green. But I also have seen green adventurings that are just solid green, completely green. But these are cute. They're little. So I'd, I'd probably put them, you know, throughout the grid. Those are so cute. I love this box. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to lay everything out so you can see. The bowl in the middle. We got our money magic kit. Our little box. And don't forget the candle holder. I'll probably lay her right there. 
Everything is a default female with me. Sorry. <laughs> there are some stones where I'm like definitely masculine. That's a him. But this one, she's been. So the abundance flows to me. I just want to look at this a little bit. So it's for the prosperity entire box. And it explains, you know, everything in it. We got the money magic ritual kit. I'll actually move it over here so you can see. I got the, the abundance spell candle set. The golden altar bowl. The Lunar Abundance Crystal Grid Set. Ooh, Lunar Abundance. I love that. Fairy Fortune Mango Wood Box. A oh, Mango Wood Box? I've never even heard of Mango Wood. Enchanting Mango Wood Box featuring a beautiful moth in a crystal design with inlaid brass moon faces. Yeah, I love those inlay moon faces because they're so shiny. They match the bowl really well. It's handcrafted, and I love it. I could store the crystals in there. That's probably what they were actually intending. I think I actually am going to do that. So there's also a pyrite. So of the three crystals, there was green adventuring, clear quartz, and the pyrite. The pyrite's probably in here. I might dig through and see if I can find it, because I'd like to show it. Because pyrite's such a gorgeous stone. I don't want to lose her, so I'm actually going to put her in the box. Right there. Oh, I can see the rainbow when I put her in there. It shines really well. So here is the... I, I'm not familiar with how to say that star any. It invites luck and success. Star any. The only star herb I really know is the star cinnamons. I kind of want to, I want to open this. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, okay. So it is a lot like the star cinnamons. I'm smelling it. It's got a really interesting smell. Wow. I'm going to snip the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, that's a very, like, woodsy smell. Hmm. Wow. Makes me feel calm just smelling it. <laughs> Love that. So that's that star and eyes. If I'm saying that wrong, put it in the comments. Let me know how to say that because I do want to learn about it. Queen of the Night Jasmine has traditionally been used to bring about good fortune. Jasmine, yes. Love and confidence. The plants. Physician. What's that? Oh, chamomile, of course. Chamomile has traditionally been used to aid in sleep and meditation. Yes. This herb is soothing and attracts wealth. I always have chamomile. Sweetwood, cinnamon. I was actually going to say, when I heard sweetwood, I was like, it's a cinnamon, isn't it? Yes, cinnamon has traditionally been used to bring in abundance and secure sacred spaces. Of course. Cinnamon is like a really universal herb it invites protection and prosperity yeah there are five i'll probably put a, out a video later that i'll talk about the five main herbs if you don't have anything else on hand there are five that can be used for basically anything and it's my personal five favorite picks it's, it'll be my five personal favorite picks so this one must be the pyrite because a red stone the stone that strikes fire love that Pyra has traditionally been used to protect, to protect positive energy and welcome and good fortune. I also use pyrite a lot for um, different health things. So it's really good for your circulation with it being a metal. This stone invites confidence and success. Absolutely. It's also great if you do rituals um, for like job interviews and things like that. Pyrite's a really good one to use. Okay, so let's see that pyrite. Oh, ooh, I was thinking it was going to be itty bitty just because the label. Just because it has written. Okay, so it's approximately 10 millimeters. That's bigger than 10 millimeters. That's like 10 and a half. That's a good size. Very sparkly. Very authentic. I can tell because it has. When you have a, uh, a tumble of pyrite, it'll have like little cracks in it. And those cracks will tend to look kind of white. This one's raw, so you can see the white is crystal. Pyrite is gorgeous. Uh, 
Pyrite is also found in lapis lazuli. The gold specks in lapis, if you didn't know, is pyrite. That is gorgeous. That's got some power to it. With it being raw, it's very, very soothing, but very powerful. That's a strong stone. It's going to be great to use in a spell. So you can see it. Put it right there. Okay, so that was the Abundance Prosperity Box by Goddess Provisions. Hopefully you can see that. I'm not sure if it'll show up. But yeah, that was lovely. I love that. Absolutely great. Cher, what did you think of the box? I want to know what you thought. Have you ever had this box before? Let me know. Thanks so much for joining me. That was a lot of fun. May your future be bright and guided by the stars. Blessed be.